Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a full web page screen capture using Google Chrome. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the web browser and inside Google Chrome, we're going to type into the search here, go full page. So one word, go full page Chrome extension. We'll hit the enter key and it will go to this website page here and we're going to install this Chrome extension which has been installed 5 million times. It's a very, very popular extension. Let's go, click, go ahead and click Add to Chrome, and then we'll click Add Extension. So we'll see this little camera icon pop up here. We're going to close it, and then we're going to click on the little puzzle icon, and then we're going to pin it here. We're going to click the Pin tool, and that will pin it to the taskbar at the top here, so we can always get access to that tool. So let's go and test this tool out. We'll close this, and we'll test it out on my website. So there's a couple of ways that we could do screen capture, right? So I could take my website page here and I could screen capture this section here then move down the page to about here and then screen capture it and then do that and just keep screen capturing manually and then take it into Photoshop or, or GIMP software and then stitch all of those screen captures together to make one full page. You can see this page is quite large in terms of its content. It's quite a lot of content in here. But we can go ahead and click on this little icon and when we click on it, it's going to do a full screen uh, screen capture here. So it's going through the page, scrolling through it, and now it's going to present me with this particular screen capture. So what we can do now is save it. So we can either save it as a PDF file, or we can click Save as Image as a PNG file. So when we click that, uh, we can click Allow. It's going to download the screen capture, and we can then drag and drop it into this directory, for example. So let's just drag and drop it into here. Now we've got a full screen capture and it's time stamped and so forth, right? So it's got the website address here and it's also got the date and the time, which is quite important. So you know when this was captured. So if you ever need to reference it again in the future, you know that. The one only issue I can see is if I drag and drop this back into the browser and then click on it, it's got uh, this little chat bot here, this little chat tool. Uh, you can see that it's repeating it down the page. You can see it's repeated it here. So you would need to do a little bit of work in Photoshop, just like just delete that piece of content as it's been repeated con continuously down the page. The only reason it's done that is when I scroll down the page, you can see uh, this element stays static, right? Can you see how it stays static on the page? So that might just cause a little issue with your screen captures, but that's much, much quicker than having to um, screen capture each individual element and then having to do that all in one go, right? And then just stitch it all together afterwards in Photoshop. Just make one big screen capture and then just take it into Photoshop and just Photoshop over these little elements here. It'll take a few minutes and it's job done. So here's an example where I've used that tool. If we go back to my homepage, if we scroll down the page as we're looking at all of the content, you get to some examples of projects that I've worked on. This is for a banking company. So here you can click on it and I've, I've used that same tool to screen capture this here. Can you see? And if we click on this one, you can see that as well. And then if we click here, we can just scroll through the pages and we can see the full screen capture. So this saves me a lot of time having to screen capture lots of content and stitch it together. I can just press and use that one tool and just screen capture everything very, very quickly. Uh, and I prefer to do it this way. It just saves me a lot of time. So if we go to e-commerce, we should be able to see a few other examples in here. So this one here, you can see another example where I've used it. Uh, just to speed up my workflow and make things just work a little bit quicker for me and wherever you can save time uh, You can save yourself a bit of money because time is money at the end of the day We want to make our jobs and our tasks as easy as possible. So don't forget to install this particular extension I think it's very very useful especially if you're a web designer or you're a graphic designer you need to you need to screen capture stuff um, I also use that same screen capture tool sometimes when I'm doing mock-ups, right? So if we go to uh, let's say this Atman Bank and I want to do a screen capture of a page and I can also use that tool there or I can just press the print screen button on my keyboard and then Photoshop it out. Normally um, stuff like this if I'm doing some sort of animation work I may want to do a bigger screen capture and then mask over this and then in something like After Effects we can have this page kind of scrolling on this still image in the background. We can do stuff like that but we need to still have that same large screen capture right and then we can use after effects to um, master layer and then we can just slide this layer up and down to to show the page scrolling something like this let's go ahead and close this and we'll close this down that's the end of this tutorial showing you how to make a full web page screen capture using google chrome extension plugin okay hopefully you find this tutorial useful and i look forward to seeing you in the next dcp web tutorial